Hey, Seven Locks. Hope you guys had a great Sunday. I'm here to read our next two chapters in our superhero uh, Marvel Sand Trap Adventures. Um, we do have my little friend Stitch here today, my little guy. He's curled up on the bed. So I'm reading here in a very comfy spot where I like to read because it's quiet and away from distractions. I'm actually sitting on my bed. So hope you guys are making lots of time to read um, and do some other activities, uh, maybe getting some fresh air and things outside. Yeah. Chapter five. Officer Ditko sneezed. Sand flew out of his nose, spraying the front of his uniform. See, it's everywhere. The policeman whined. Spider-Man patted him on the back. I totally under sand, Spidey said. Officer Stanley shook her head. More importantly, we cannot find the Sandman anywhere. Believe me, we've looked. She pointed to a dozen police officers. They were sifting through the sand that covered 96th Street. She held up a shovel. Back to work, she said. Officer Ditko sighed. He picked up a comb and fell to his knees. If you see something, say something. Okay, Spidey? Will do, Officer, Spider-Man said. Don't worry. This guy doesn't stand a chance. Officer Ditko whimpered. I'm too old for this. Psst. Spider-Man looked behind him. He looked beside him. He looked below him. He was sure he heard something, but he saw nothing. Psst, he heard it again. Was the sound coming from the trees? Spidey looked up. Sitting on a branch in the tree above, a grinning girl with full cheeks and really big front teeth waved. Hi there, she said. It is great to meet you. Big fan. I totally love your vibe. Like the web shooters, I love the puns. You fight all the best villains. And you do it with such style. I mean, for real. Do you have a day job? Because if you wanted to perform at kids' birthday parties, you would totally clean up. Spider-Man was confused. And you are? Squirrel Girl smacked her forehead with the palm of her hand. Duh, she said. I'm Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl? Spidey chuckled. Like you have the powers of a squirrel? Squirrel Girl narrowed her eyes. She snapped a dead branch off the tree and did a double flip onto the sidewalk, landing lightly on her feet. She said, along with the powers of a girl. You got a problem with that, bug boy? I do not, Spider-Man replied. He held out his hand. Squirrel Girl gave him a high five. So, SG, any chance you've seen a big guy made of sand? Squirrel Girl asked eagerly. You betcha. Follow me. Chapter 6. Spider-Man and Squirrel Girl stood in the center of the playground. I thought... You said he was hiding in a sandbox. Spider-Man said, He is, Squirrel Girl replied. Did I forget to mention that the whole playground is covered in sand? Spider-Man rubbed his temples. Just as Tippy Toe had said, the sandbox, Sandman had hidden in the sandy area meant for burying toys and building castles. But the fact that the rest of the playground had a sand floor too was not good news. The Spider-Man could, the Sandman could be hiding anywhere, Spider-Man said. Under the tire swing, beneath the slide, we have to get these kids out of here. And I know just how to do it. He winked at his companion. Watch and learn. Spider-Man cleared his throat, 
cupped his hands to his mouth. He hollered, ice cream. Everybody stopped playing. The children glared. The parents pouted. No one moved. Sheesh, Spidey said. Not a big ice cream crowd. That was a great try, Spider-Man, Squirrel Girl said. She patted him kindly on the shoulder. But I'm a Central Park protector. And if there's one thing I know, it's how to clear a playground. She looked at the trees. Ready to be towed? Chick -a -chick -a -chick, a tiny voice replied. Squirrel Girl placed her fingers in her mouth on either side of her amazing front teeth. She whistled. Hundreds of squirrels ran into the playground. They descended from the trees. They squir scurried over rocks. They burst forth from the bushes. Gray squirrels, black squirrels, red squirrels. All the squirrels in Central Park seemed to have come at Squirrel Girl's call. Now one squirrel on its own is cute. Two squirrels playing together can be entertaining. But hundreds of them rushing at you in formation is simply nuts. The families fled to the nearby benches. Squirrels stood guard at their feet. The playground was clearing and not a moment too soon. A huge figure grew out of the sand. He loomed above Spider-Man and Squirrel Girl. Playtime's over, kids. All right, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you guys have a great Monday, and I'll see you back next time for our next few chapters in our Sand Trap Adventures with Spider-Man and Squirrel Girl. Bye. Oh, and you could say goodnight to Stitch. Say night, Stitch. Have a good nap.